Thank God. Hey, people, we finally figured it out. Saxe Human is a seasonal sundial calendar. It's all about the shadows, people. Keep your eye on the shadow. Okay, in the uh, summer solstice down in the southern hemisphere, your shadows will be going all the way probably to the edge of this wall when it rises up at the, uh, the longest daylight of the year right here. And then as it go, you go into the winter in the southern hemisphere, the sun will be, this is, this is facing east-west, so the sun's coming up over here, obviously. So the sun comes up in the southeast, and it's just catching the uh, the walls here, the outer wall, the, the outer sawtooth. So you'll have a short pronounced shadow. So basically, it's a um, it's a timepiece. Three layers. One, two, three. There's actually three layers. We'll get into the other pictures later before we roll on. But um, yes, it's pretty neat. These are earthquake proof walls. Uh, you know, bulletproof, bomb proof. Um, Maybe in uh, earthquake proof. Well, at least earthquake proof, anyways. We can get into the construction of how they did this wall later on. But the significant discovery, another discovery from uh, Team PGF Pyramid Gravity Force, raising the DeJet, busting wide open the ancient technologies here, trying to uh, raise our ancestors to the uh, level that it should be, which is way above our level of intellect, unbeknownst to the mainstream um, brainiacs out there. I think they, uh, the end-all, be-all, we just rolled out of the jungle 5,000 years ago and decided to build a pyramid. Not! Anyways, this is, this is a great discovery. I'm pleased to share with everybody. Okay, here's another great shot here. You can see the shadows. A little bit more pronounced. Um, you know, again, this looks like it's going into the fall season. You can see the shadows are a little bit a little bit coming off of this front wall. Now the tops of these walls used to be uh, li uh, very uh, perfectly level. Uh, so you would have a sharper uh, shadow formation on on all three tiers one two three all in all I think there's about 18 teeth which I believe one of the calendars way back when had uh, 18 months um, not sure how it ties into months although you know <clears throat> the the shadow would tie into well actually I am sure it's the shadows would tie into the month also so Anyways, you could follow the uh, follow, just come up here and you could find out where where the shadows are. You know when you're at the equinox, you know when you're at your uh, summer winter solstice. And um, again, these these walls were uh, built to last. They were very sophisticated beyond our uh, you know work that we do today as far as stonework and um, built to last, withstand earthquakes and all sorts of other violent things that happen on Earth. <clears throat> but uh, that's it. There's not much really to say more than that. I mean, it's kind of, uh, you know, I'll shoot some more pictures at you. All right, so there's another good picture. This is an aerial view. And um, what we got here, we got this uh, calendar in the middle right here. Get your circles, inner circle. So you get your readings off of the 18 sawtooth, and uh, you know, keep a keep a uh, a record of what month you were in. Right by moving, probably a, a, a something, some some kind of a marker or something like that. You rotate it right around in there and keep a keep track of your month up here. Also, um, you know, degree tilt. I mean, the whole the whole geometry of the the planet, more or less, can be uh, tracked through this type of uh, uh, devices, mechanisms. Here's your sawtooth right up in here. There's three three rows of them. So I mean, this is a very sophisticated piece of work up here. Um, you know, it's it's like just amazing. I mean, it's just just incredible. Um, you know, for and and that's the best 
the best instrumentation is on the on the ground as far as keeping an eye on keeping track of uh, the sun, the Earth's tilt, um, the orbit of the Earth, the orbit of the Moon around the Earth. I mean, if you know if everything's stable, you know you're all set. If things start coming out of whack, you're getting yourself a warning. You know, you get some kind of a warning before um, anything happens. These people were planet builders right here. They they set things in motion. You know, they were the ones that put the mountains on the planet. They they did the pyramids. They did the uh, you know which manipulate the volcanoes and balance the earth off and uh, you know the whole nine yards. Uh, they they tweaked it. You know the big the big god made the universe and everything. You know, these guys are like the little gods. Um, make no mistake about it. They was humans. Humans, every last one of them. They weren't alien. They were our ancestors. So um, please refrain from that the, the big A word, alien. We don't like that. It's it's it's, it's very rude. It's uh, it's downright ignorant. So if you can, just just you know try to correct people. Don't don't say that. All right. So that's about it. I mean, I don't have much more to offer. I could, you know, I just wanted to throw that. It's early on in the discovery. Working on that, working on the jet, the jet. I'm working on, um, you know, a couple of other uh, big items up there in Peru. Peru's the, uh, you know, was was the uh, home base for a lot of the uh, ge geographical technology, um, South America in, in particular. But uh, it's a very, very, uh, very important work, and uh, hopefully we can all learn something from it. Again, we just close up with this. Uh, you know, you get your angles here, and uh, some of these stones have have cuts in them. Uh, let's see if I probably can't find one now that I'm talking about it. But there's uh, some stones that actually have cuts with the shadows. Can't see them in here, but I, that would probably maybe maybe uh, you know s signify a uh, a solstice. An equinox or something to that. I mean, here's here's a pitch here. See an angle there. That might be like a um, the uh, winter winter uh, solstice, where you might have a sharper angle out here, and one of these other things that would other uh, walls that would would show you the uh, uh, summer summer solstice way out way out on top. So anyway, so there's 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 some uh, there's some reasons to the madness, if you will. Anyways, you're looking at a giant calendar. This whole top of the mountain here in uh, Sac Sehuaman. Uh, I think in like 10,000 BC. I'm thinking like, you know, 70,000 BC. But that's just me. I'm way out there. But uh, they're my ancestors. They're your ancestors. They're not aliens. They're very sophisticated people. They made the planet into the utopia that we now enjoy, and um, some people are taking it for granted. So, uh, anyways, I'll leave you with that. This is another picture here. Sorry for the poor studio uh, performance here. It's just my staff has left. Uh, that's because I never had one, and my teleprompter is broken. So uh, we're just winging it here. So anyways, you can see the different angles. Again, these walls are damaged. They haven't been put back into their uh, flat level original position. So you get more of a uh, more tighter. I mean, you can see the angles here. You, see the other, you can see the angles in the rocks. Those angle of the dangles actually mean something. They actually mean a month, okay? Uh, maybe these layers actually tie into uh, degree pitch and the axis tilt, uh, tilt of the axis of the Earth. Um, you know, there's a bunch of uh, bunch of things I'm working on, so I'm just pumping this stuff out as fast as I can. It comes in, it comes in quick sometimes, and uh, just pushing it out there. And uh, you know, hey, work on it, uh, share it, kick it around. These things were made for a reason, and uh, that's the reason, people. All right, you've got a nice uh, wide-angle view of this. Not the whole structure, but some of it. And you'll see that there's a square one in the middle. 
I would imagine that's probably the Equinox somewhere in there uh, possibly you know that's the yeah, the halfway point it seems like there's a, a separation between all three layers levels rather and it's a sawtooth up to there and then it's sawtooth straight down again so um, you know must must configure in with the uh, the angle of the Sun certain times a year so it's pretty pretty cool stuff it really is I mean the stonework is just amazing I mean this stuff just boom boom bang I mean it's just uh, just incredible work absolutely incredible that's um, probably like straight overhead now or you know the shadows are very steep but in the winter time you know most of them on the southern hem hemisphere the, the sun coming up the southeast uh, they just come off of this wall you get a very short shadow and again if, as it's coming over the top you get very long pronounced shadows tell you what month you're in when to cook when to uh, get ready uh, get ready for winter um, you know the uh, you know natives could have used it as a clock the um, uh, you know other other people use it as instrumentation for more um, uh, the yeah, physics reasons on how the planet's doing again you get some more uh, more shadows as they go along and it's kind of rolls down a hill it's almost like a, it's not the curvature of the earth it's be really super imposed uh, super superimposed but uh, I mean it's a nice hill so you get a, a flow of the earth just rolling towards it on its normal and just huge rocks just huge boulders Basalt, I think they uh, call it. Yeah, but uh, very hard stone. Uh, here you go. Here's, it, it, there's a nice angle right there. This used to be straight, right across the top. So you get a nice, profound, straight razor, laser beam sharp shadow. And like I said, in winter time, it'll, the, the sun will be hitting this, and you'll be catching a shadow maybe off of here. It's really brilliant because these have an angle coming out. They're not 90 degrees. That's not a 90 degree wall. That's probably closer to like 70 or 60 degrees in there, and it comes out so you can catch catch the uh, winter uh, sun and still get a nice shadow in there. And like I say again, come, this used to be straight across. Maybe they'll fix it now that I'm that we're bringing it to light and get a nice straight edge. And you can see that you'll have a nice, um, perfectly uh, perfect raise a laser beam straight shadow going all the way across these rocks this this wall here again there's reasons behind the madness people there's reasons behind the madness um, pretty sure that's that's a huge wall we have a size of that at least probably like five and a half feet and probably 10 11 feet and 13 feet here so just uh, just amazing where it's all set up to engage the Sun keep an eye on the Sun which also tells you what the earth is doing with that over and out what are we up to 13 minutes way over